Well, if you have ever experienced ongoing gastrointestinal issues, then you know how it can disrupt pretty much every part of your day. We're talking about issues like irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, and a whole lot of others. But there are ways to deal with the problems. Joining me today is Dr. Katie Schroeder. She's a gastroenterologist at SLU. Good morning, Katie. Good to see you. Thanks for having me, John. Sure. Let's start with this one. So I was looking over the research this morning. One in three people out there have some form of GI issue at some point in their life. Uh, so what is the most common thing that you talk to people about? You know, I have people come to me all the time who have suffered for very, very long periods of time with lots of a whole constellation of GI issues. I always kind of wonder, I wish I could have gotten to them, you know, sooner before their life was so affected by these issues. These can run from constipation, diarrhea, heartburn, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting. All of those symptoms can really affect your daily life. You know, it is one of those topics. You talk about it all the time because that's what you do. People don't want to talk about it, but so many people deal with this. We also hear about leaky gut, and I think it's become maybe an overused term on the web now. What exactly is that? You know, leaky gut is, is there's a lot of debate about leaky gut. Leaky gut is kind of a constellation of the, the alteration of the border of the GI lining. You know, in the, in the world of medicine, there is a lot of issues that cause leaky gut, like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and even colon cancer can lead to sometimes kind of malnutrition and, and diarrhea and abdominal pain. There's a few symptoms that should prompt medical attention, and, I, and anybody who has any of these symptoms definitely should come see a doctor. Those include anemia or low blood count, and if you have those, that definitely requires a GI workup because we can think about Crohn's disease or colon cancer. Onset of age of symptoms after 50 should be alarming. Blood in the stools is definitely not a normal situation. Nighttime symptoms that wake you up from bedtime or at night can be concerning. Unintentional weight loss and any kind of family history of GI issues definitely should prompt you to see a doctor. You know, a lot of people though have GI issues but don't have any of these things. And that is more commonly irritable bowel syndrome one in, in about 25 percent of patients that we see have irritable bowel syndrome. I'm glad you brought that up because I think so many people live with this that when you're going for drives you start looking for bathrooms, porta potties, anywhere you go, right? You go into a building, you start checking out where I can go. So people learn to live with that. So when yeah. do you realize that it's not normal that you may have a problem that you do need to see someone like you? You know any of those alarm features that we just talked about for sure but if your gi symptoms are keeping you from doing what you want to do there's really great treatment options for you even if it is irritable bowel syndrome you know i have patients i had a patient just yesterday he said he can't play in his band because he can't finish a set without needing to use the restroom if you let us know what's bothering you and what's keeping you from doing what you want to do we can help and katie we got to go very quickly but i know there are medications out there that can change things um, people shouldn't be embarrassed to come talk to you because this is what you do, right? And doctors like yourself. Absolutely. It's not something that we want to talk about in social situations. So make an appointment and we can chat about it more. And I guarantee you, we can help you. All right, Dr. Katie Schroeder, thank you so much. We do appreciate you. And we do have a link, by the way, with more information at fox2now.com. And we hope to talk to you soon, Dr. Katie. Appreciate it. Thanks, John. All right. See you soon.